Hi, I'm Janine Fenton from the American Society of Civil Engineers, and today we're going to build an earthquake resistant structure. You can find complete instructions along with relevant terminology and questions to ask on our website at asce.org slash pre-college outreach. Look for the everyday engineering headline and the activity build an earthquake resistant structure. We also have a link there to a video called Quake Takes that shows a full-size shake table big enough to hold a six-story building. Now, if you're going to build an earthquake-resistant structure, the first thing you need to do is to build something to test it on. And I'm just using some shoe boxes or other small boxes. I got some ping pong balls at the grocery store. You can use golf balls, marbles, etc. I've cut down the lid so that there's a little bit of wiggle room on all sides of it. Over here is another version of the shake table made with marbles, and I've already got some structures that are taped onto the lid. You notice that one structure has a lot of squares and one has a lot of triangles, and I'm going to go ahead and shake it a little bit. There's a reason that we have the different shapes. I'm going to give you a hint. When I put some pressure on the square, it starts to deform. When I put some pressure on the triangles, it doesn't. So if I was to shake this a lot, which structure do you think would hold up better? Well, try it yourself and find out. You can use toothpicks, marshmallows. I wanted one that was a little bit taller, so I used some pasta as well. Send us your results, your questions, pictures, and comments to outreach at asce.org and keep on engineering.